What's poppin' everybody? This is Sabro Fighter 4. Today I'm gonna be reviewing the Japanese Scarlet EX set. Uh, our set is gonna be, of course, the Scarlet and Violet base set. It's how it always is at the start of the era. Base sword and shield, base sword and shield set, base Sun and Moon set, base Scarlet and Violet set. But uh, in Japan, they usually split them in two. It's much better for me when I make these reviews. So 80 card set, uh, much easier job than reviewing a 200 card set. I mean, it's still going to take us probably an hour, an hour and a half. But anyway, uh, we're off to a bad start already, as I see this Cacnea with 60 HP. Uh, basic Pokemon that evolve have been having 60 HP since the Dominant Pearl days. Okay? So that's like, God, like 14, 15 years. I, I can't even do the math. But more than a damn decade, Okay? So you have 60 HP basic Pokemon in Diamond and Pearl, where the, the biggest Pokemon were level X's stage 2's with 150 HP, you could say, 160 HP sort of thing, okay? And in this day and age, we have V-Stars, V-Maxes going 300, 280, and we're still getting 60 HP basic Pokemon. I bet you it's going to be the same old stage 2 Pokemon with 150 HP. They're going to be dying in one shot. Just no improvement whatsoever. So we're off to a, a great start already. So what does this little guy do? The guy has the counterattack quills when this Pokemon receives damage from your opponent's uh, Pokemon attack while on the active spot put three damage counters in the attacking Pokemon. So I guess you're going to get three free damage counters out of this and that's about it because with one shot this guy's dead. But at least this ability is kind of useful. Uh, you had the other Cacnea in Expanded right now that would inflict Auto Poison if it got attacked. But this is really nice as well. Okay, and we got Cacturn, 130 HP Stage 1 Pokemon. Going to be dying in one shot, but it could have been a hell of a lot worse. It could have been 100 HP. Um, it has the same Counter-Attack Quills ability when this Pokemon receives damage. On the active spot, put three damage counters on the attacking Pokemon. And then a pathetic, useless 110 for three attack. That is not even going to be in a two hit KO range on anything significant. I mean, keep in mind, like the EXs that are going to be coming back, the new rule box Pokemon, they are going to be getting more HP as they always do in this set. So this guy's going to need multiple attacks. He can use any energy to make those attacks. Um, I guess the ability is going to help a little bit to put damage, but you're only going to get 3 damage out of this because this guy is most definitely going to die. And uh, that's it. <sighs> Once again, you know, these filler Pokemon are trying to make them, disguise them as not filler. But yeah, this card it won't do anything. I guess you can use any energy to attack, so you could squeeze this in if you want to hit some grass weak Pokemon for weakness as a tech. But how are you really going to do this shit? Like, anyway, disappointed. Cacturn, one of my favorite grass Pokemon from Gen 3. <sighs> not good. Not good, man. They just don't want to make them good, you know? They can copy this little, like, EX logo and try to make it like we're going back to the good times sort of thing all they want. But it's just not going to be the same shit. Okay, it's Skiddo, 60 HP. Another weakling little basic Pokemon. And then you got the Gagot. Once again, what does this do? 30 damage. And then you flip a coin if heads, you do 30 more damage. So 60 for 2. And you got to get heads. When we used to have Pokemon that could do 1, one for 60. This is the attack that's going to pressure the big rule box Pokemon. And then the 110 attack for 3. Once again, some filler bullshit you know great artwork you got the go here chilling uh, it looks like it's a, it's up a mountain there's a beach down there I think I don't know is that supposed to be the sea is that like trees I don't know but once again filler cards so I shouldn't have even be wasting time okay more filler one of the new Pokemon Scarlet and Violet um, Another filler card. Heal 30 from one of your Pokemon. And then you got Dull Leave. This is the stage one, I guess. 
uh, filler, slap, and then oil rest during your opponent's next turn. Goes to attack, flip a coin, if tails move does nothing. Okay, gimmick bullshit. And then there's our stage two. Just as I predicted, like a psychic. A 150 HP stage two Pokemon once fucking again in a brand new era. They keep insisting on not improving these fucking Pokemon. 150 for three, useless as attack, standard. And then the max oil, once turn in your turn, when you play this card from your hand to evolve, you may heal all damage from one of your Pokemon. So this is, I guess, like a more specific uh, Blissey Prime healing effect. You're not going to discard energies. You don't heal from everybody. You get to choose one. So it's a, a max potion without the drawback um, in the form of a stage two. And you don't discard energies. So take a wild guess what this guy, what this card's purpose is going to be, once again. Max potion on the stage two. Take a wild guess what's its role going to be. It's going to be another fucking support Pokemon for the rule box Pokemon with large HP. Okay? That's, that's what it's going to be about. You know, max potion effects, you know, the max potion card is a broken card as more and more time goes on and we get... You know, more HP on Pokemon. It just means even more potential, more ceiling to heal damage. So, during the EXs in the black and white, best case scenario, you're healing, you know, 170 HP, 150 HP. You know, healing a lot of damage on an EX Pokemon with 180. You know, as time went on, you could heal more during the GX era, you know, with Metagross GX, that combo. Um... Even more with V stars, V maxes, sort of thing, and with the stage two EXs that are going to be making their debut here, um, it's, it's going to be a lot more max healing. <laughs> so, this is what this card is going to do, and um, it's going to be a partner for those Pokemon. That's it, that, that's all these stage two Pokemon are good for. We got a Torkoal. A basic Pokemon with 130 HP, which makes the stage ones look even more sad, like Cacturn. So Stampede, useless, and then focused fire. Flip a coin for each fire energy attached to this Pokemon. It's gonna do 80 damage for each heads. So this is your coin flip gimmick uh, stuff we've seen before. You got the Char Cadet. Uh, it's the little Mega Man Navi Pokemon. Yeah, that's what they evolve into. So, yeah, nothing much to you. Kind of cool. It almost looks like this isn't a Pokemon. It looks like a Digimon or something. But anyway, uh, this is the same. Okay, and this is the evolution. Yeah, I swear to God, these are like Mega Man Navi artworks. So, 130 HP, same shit. And uh, you do Torch, Torch Bearer. As many times as you like during your turn, you may move one Fire Energy from your benched Pokemon to your active Pokemon. So this is a semi-move um, energy around ability. You don't have the freedom to do whatever the hell you like. Like with, uh, you know, Weavile GX and uh, Bronzong and other Pokemon. Uh, this is kind of a throwback to... Uh, Swamp Herd card from Great Encounters, and I guess a few other cards with a similar effect. But it is a stage one, so I guess that's why they didn't want to go overboard. Um, I don't know. I mean, Bronzong is a stage one. We've all Jakes was a stage one, so they do this these days. And uh, the Flame Cannon attack is a 90 for three. Your opponent's active Pokemon is not burned. Useless as always. Not going to be a threat at all. And. Uh, at best, once again, this is going to be a card that's going to be used for support. Uh, with big fire, EXs, V-Stars, that sort of thing. Just more support. That's all these guys are good for. You got a Magikarp. Um, 10 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon. Okay, so I guess they, they're making this laughable because it's Magikarp. Okay, fine. And then a Gyarados EX. Look at this, man. This is a stage one EX card, 300 HP. 
you know. So you can get this just as you would get a damn cacturn out. Get your little guy and evolve into your stage one. How would a cacturn compete against Gyarados EX even if you could hit it for weakness? It's weak to lightning, but if it, if it was weak to grass, would not make any difference. So this is a big water Pokemon. It does 100 for 3 waterfall for the first attack. Um, that's that's kind of weak, but it doesn't matter. Uh, the main attack, Tyrant Tail, uh, five, 180 for 5, and then if your opponent already has any damage counters on it, it's going to do 360. God damn. So... This is going to be a very expensive attack to meet, even if you use it with something like Frostmoth, it's not going to be easy. And you do need that little bit of setup to get the max damage, so like a Zigzagoon damage kind of drop, that sort of thing. So I think this makes it a, a difficult card to use. Um, when you have this sort of attack, you want an easier energy cost. You don't when you're going to need so many energies. I mean, I guess if somebody is hurt, then you're killing everything in one shot with this. But, I don't know. I mean, this this card reminds me of the Gyarados GX that was in Crimson Invasion, I think, that didn't do anything. I don't think they had exactly the same attacks, but it just seems like one of those cards that it looks hot, but really the HP is the best part. That's it. So, who knows? We'll see what happens. I guess I need to see the rest of the set. Got a Buizol, filler of course, as always, and a Floatzel. Uh, also filler. Only one attack, 120 HP. D they didn't even give it free retreat, of course. And then Hydro Pump, uh, 50 damage and 20 more damage for each water energy attached to this Pokemon. So basically, if you have two water energies to meet the cost, it's 90 for two. And then 110 for 3. <laughs> yeah. So you're at the level of uh, Keldew EX from more than 10 fucking years ago. Lovely. <sighs> you got this Broxus here. Search your deck for up to 3 basic energy cards. Put them into your hand. Okay, support Pokemon. But most people wouldn't use this sort of attack for this. I guess maybe some decks... Uh, you got the Wiglet. I guess these are the new Pokemon. I'm looking at all of the new shit as we go because I, I haven't played the video games and I never will. Probably. I guess you never know, but more than likely, I'm just going to say, yeah, I'm never going to play that shit. So, uh, this Pokemon won't receive damage if you get the head heads. Okay. And uh, there's another one here. Uh, flip a coin if heads, middle card, uh, and then walk walk trio. These red dudes. So you headbutt, thirty for one. Yeah, very threatening. And then the underwater tunnel flip two coins for each heads. Discard the three cards from the top of your opponent's deck. So, for those that like to make mill decks and do bullshit like that, maybe this is going to be your new guy. I don't know. You have to flip a bunch of heads, but you get three tries, and man, even if you get one heads, discarding three is nothing to take lightly. So, it, it does need a, a three energy attack, but there's triple acceleration energy in expanded, so people can just do that. So maybe this is going to be a new expanded uh, deck out deck, because... You can just easily recycle the triple acceleration energies with special charge. You can do a bunch of shit. Maybe it's not going to be the most consistent thing in the world, but I mean, if you get double heads, you're milling six cards. That's crazy good. So, never know. Uh, you got the Don Don Dozo. Uh, interesting looking Pokemon. So, you get served. <laughs> Get served. Does 50 damage for each ta tatsu Tatsugiri in your discapal. I don't know if that's a Pokemon or an item card. We'll see. Heavy Splash, 120 for 4. Pathetic. Um, is this a basic Pokemon, though? 
I think it, it looks like a basic Pokemon 160 HP. It's kind of strange. Uh, I don't think I'm missing anything, right? Anyway, and then this is the Tatsugiri, a little fishy Pokemon. So, Spade work, search your deck for up to two water energy and attach them to one of your basic Pokemon in play. Uh, yeah, I, I do see what they're doing. I guess this is to work with the other dude. You get to instantly power him up without using a DC as you're leaving him to die. Um, and then backflip, put this Pokemon all cards back into your hand. Uh, yeah, this this reminds me of um, a Shuppet and a Dunsparce that this used to do this shit, but this ain't the DP days. Um, Yeah, it's you, you can't really do the shit that you you would do back in the day with this anyway. And we got the wa Watrol. Okay, so these are the bird Pokemon, Electric Bird. Collect, draw a card, that's it. And uh, this one does 20 for 1. And then the Stage 1, you have Skill Dive. This attack does... 10, da 10 damage. No, this has to be a mistake. I think it says 50 here. So there was a translation error. So I'm just going to interpret this as a 50 damage snipe for 2. Which is weak, but that's to be expected. And then the Thunder Blast, 140 for 3. Discard a Lightning Energy from this Pokemon. Once again, this is let down by incredibly low HP. It doesn't even have a free retreat. It, it's funny to me that they... Yeah, you've got the fighting resistance, but then if just a fighting Pokemon hits you for 150, you, you're still dead. You know? I'd rather have no resistance and have this be 200 HP. That's better. But they're not going to do shit like this, of course. Anyway, we got uh, routes. And I guess the thing is is that some people hear me and they might think I'm crazy, but that's because you're just used to this shit. You're used, you're used to seeing these regular Pokemon be stuck in that sort of range of HP. That's why when I say a stage 1 with 200 HP, you think it's crazy talk. But if you look at a stage 1 Pokemon that is around, that has 200 HP, like Waylord, and how it isn't doing anything... Even if you use it with something like Frostmoth, it's difficult to use. You know? And let me know if you still think they, they don't need to improve their HP. When they're dying in one shot, you get these Pokemon out to die in one shot. Alright. So, I think I'm a little more pissed off than usual. But it's because I knew going into this that it's going to be the same old shit. All of these cards are filler. I might as well just not look at them. Just look at the EXs and that's it. So you got the Curlia, Magical Shot, and then Psychic, 20 more damage for each. Energy attached to protect the Pokemon. Typical stuff. Very nice artwork here. You know, these cards that look good, artwork is cool and cute and nice. But then it's just it's just eye candy, that's it. And, of course, they had to give us uh, an EX Gardevoir, Gardevoir EX, in the first set. Uh, that's fine with me. Um, let's see if it's any good. Um, you get the Psychic Embrace ability. As often as you like during your turn, you may attach a basic Psychic Energy from your discard. Whoa, shit. To one of your Psychic Pokemon, if you do, put two damage counters on that Pokemon. Yeah, so... They're bringing back the... Dynamotor shit. This is gonna be a stage two, but this is still some strong shit. Um, it's very specific. It's a psychic energy, and it has to be on a psychic Pokemon, so it's much weaker than something like Metagross GX. It's a bit surprising to me they wanted to make this card so weak. I mean, it's a strong effect, but it's weaker than something like Metagross. Uh, you can attach it anywhere, but you're going to get two damage counters, which Metagross GX did not have. And it has to be a Psychic Pokemon too, according to the translation here. And then the 190 attack, it's 3 for 190. There's an effect here, but they didn't tr translate that. So I don't know what 
that's going to be about. Maybe you this current energy, maybe whatever. Um, a three hundred and ten HP EX Pokemon. It's a stage two, so just imagine the you know GXs, how the stage two GXs used to be, but you don't get the GX attack. You just get more HP. That's it. So my guess is. Perhaps this is going to be competitive. I have to see what else is in here. Um, I can't really think of all of the best V stars. Um, you know, we do have a few psychic Pokemon, yeah, V stars and rule box Pokemon, but there's also Shadowrider Calyrex, and that's actually probably better, more consistent than this. So. Any of those Pokemon, we're probably going to still use that guy until he rotates. Okay, that's Gardevoir, though. And we got Drifloon. Filler. Uh, yeah. I can't, I can't even waste time. I'm not going to waste time. And then the Big Balloon. Drifloon. You got Spreading Curse. Put 8 damage counters on your opponent's Pokemon any way you like. But at the end of the day, it's going to be 80 for 3, my friend. Which is extremely weak. 30 for 2, first attack, weak, 110 HP, dying in one shot, no free retreat. Nothing spectacular. Nothing that is an improvement to match even shit from the previous era. The fucking Sword and Shield era, Sun and the Moon era, let alone the new Scarlet and Violet shit. The Dene. Yeah, filler. We got the new little psychic doggy here. Filler, filler, filler. I gotta make this a habit not to waste time on cards that I know they're filler. Uh, well baked body. Uh, prevent all damage done to this Pokemon by attacks from your opponent's fire Pokemon. And this Pokemon can be burned. Uh, very specific, but. I guess it does have a use against fire Pokemon. That's it. An incredibly low HP. 90 HP for a stage 1. And it does 100 for 3. Another useless attack. <sighs> you got this little... Wow, cute Pokemon. Looks like a little... Chick, chick with a dress sort of thing. Like a little baby chick with a dress. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what this is supposed to be. Maybe it's a flower? I don't have a clue. Uh, very low HP. 40 HP. And then this one also has 40 HP. Oh, God. Is this what you evolve into? Yeah. So, yeah, it, it did look like a little chicken bird, as I thought. So, this is the, the evolved form. 110, it does have free retreat, yay. Uh, persevere during your opponent's next turn. Defending Pokemon can retreat, yeah, 20 for 2. <sighs> Man, I just want to hit my fucking desk. They've been doing this for so many years, these similar attacks with no improvement. Why can it fucking be? It would have still been useless. But, why can it fucking be? Even if it was going to be useless. 60 for 1. And then if any Pokemon can retreat. Why does it have to be 20 for 1? Why does it have to be so weak? This guy's going to die in one shot. If you leave this Pokemon in the active position to do Persevere. A fucking 20 for 1 attack. This guy's dead. Like you waste your energy attachment to do 20 for 1. And then Psychic. 50 damage for each energy attached to defending Pokemon. So I guess if they have three energies, it's 180 for three. I guess that's a little bit good. If they have less than that, it's 130, 80. This is a, a bit okay, but once again, at best you're going to get one attack out of this. You know, you put the Psychic Energy on, you put a DC-esque card, 
to get one attack off and then this guy's most definitely dead as usual there's other similar cards that do this that can give this damage output for a three energy attack that's DC compatible that don't do anything they do not see play because you're committing resources that you're gonna lose so easily this fucking Pokemon ain't gonna survive a hit damn get this meditate cutesy artwork but of course everything else is filler really nice artwork here uh, sometimes this art for me, this type of art that's um, uh, more basic, uh, it's hit or miss. This is a hit for me. I like it. But it only has 60 HP. One attack that's useless. I bet you you can find like a Meditate from the Diamond and Pearl era that's exactly the same in terms of stats. <laughs> 20 years from before. You got Metachamp, 90 HP. <laughs> This is even worse. So you, you got the round kick, which is, says 90 for one. But if you flip a coin, if you get tails, you do zero, which is fuck. And aim for pressure point. Choose one of your opponent's active Pokemon attacks. They can't use that attack. 30 for one, still useless. You know what they should have done? If this card with round kick did 90 for one, and it didn't have this bad drawback. At best, this Pokemon was going to be a tier 3 deck. At best. Okay? And the reason why I say this is because there is a card that can do more damage that hasn't done anything. It's called Dawn Fan from Vivid Voltage. 150 HP, stage 1, does 120 for 1. It hits your guys too, but there's ways around that shit. And it, it doesn't really matter because... It, it didn't do anything. I'm probably the only dude that used the, used the card in Expanded and Standard. Okay? And I'm exaggerating, but you guys get what I mean. Only a few people tried the card. And even if a lot of people tried it, last time I checked, it's not a Tier 1 deck. Okay? This as well, it, it could have been something. You just do 90 for 1, no drawbacks. And then you know you're going to be dying turn after turn. But they had to give it this flip a coin shit like it's such a broken attack, 90 for 1, on a stage 1 that's going to die. Ridiculous. Just wasting my breath yelling away on this shit. Riolu, Lucario, 120 for 3, and then you can't make the attack next turn. Like we're back in the black and white era. And the Vengeful Knuckle, if any of your fighting Pokemon were knocked out. This is your revenge attack, 150 for 1. So the only, the only decent thing about this card is this revenge attack. And it has to be fighting Pokemon that died. So I guess that's why they gave it 120. Uh, yeah. I mean, I guess it could be something in a fighting deck, but... Probably not. Crocodile line. You're going to be the same old filler as always. Um, you as well. If your opponent has one prize card remaining, 110 for one. Yeah, this should have been the norm. And then, uh, oops. Crocodile. 170 HP for a stage two. This is still dying in one shot. Everybody knows this. Okay. Uh, ga Gabuga Boot Bite. I don't know what the fuck is su that's supposed to be. Flip a coin until you get tails for each heads. This card energy. And it's 50 for 1. Um, yeah. Coin flip stuff. And then Earthquake. It's 180 for 2. This attack does 30 damage to each of your bench Pokemon. I knew. I knew it was going to be this shit. You hit your guys. I, I, I really don't know what the hell is their deal. Um, why they think they have to do this it, it, it is on purpose they want to make sure the regular Pokemon cards you pull in from your booster packs are the low tier shit the, the weak shit that you, you can't really use if this Pokemon did 180 for 2 with no bad effect it wasn't going to be that impressive 
okay? You got to get two attachments to power this guy up. He's still going to be dying in one shot most of the time. And you're putting in a little bit of pressure, okay? 180 for two is strong. Where it's going to be a regular Pokemon after all. We can't forget that. But it wasn't going to be anything tier zero, okay? It wasn't going to be anything that people were going to see. This is the most broken card of all time. Uh, but they give it the 30 damage to each of your bench Pokemon. So that means if you got a few of these dudes out, somehow, some way, with a miracle, you're softening your guys up. So you're most definitely going to be dying in one shot. Okay? The 170 HP isn't even going to be that. You're going to be at 140, 110. So once again, trying to make this card's weak on purpose. This guy, flying entry, once during your turn when you play this card from your hand, you may choose up the two of your opponent's bench Pokemon and put one damage counter on each of them. So I guess this is the way Gyarados is going to do shit, but no, it, it has to be benched Pokemon. You, you get the double effect, stronger than Zigzagoon, and I guess to balance it, they force you to have to be the bench. So yeah, that's not going to do Gyarados much favors. Uh, it's still a, a good card though. It, it should see play in some decks. You got the Cobra cards. Ah, <sighs> yeah. 120 for 3. And then Rumble. Discard two energy from this Pokemon, then your opponent shuffles their active Pokemon law cards into their deck. <laughs> Very difficult to use. You don't get a prize. You discard energies. Once again, gimmick stuff, just to print cards. They just they need to print cards at the end of the day to have shit in set. So they just print whatever. I don't I really don't like this, okay? So I, I talk a lot of shit about Digimon and uh, stuff that I think are issues and uh, in, in terms of balance and cards and power group and shit but it is miles ahead when it comes to a set that it, it, you actually get cards from the booster box and the stuff you pull from packs that you can actually utilize that it's actually on somewhat on an even playing field you know with the costs with the attack power it is balanced in some sense with Pokemon, these cards are just straight up filler. It's just useless shit you just get. And that's it. So look at this guy. It has 130 HP. I'm guessing it's a basic Pokemon. Yeah. It does 50 for 2. And 130 for 3. And you're now confused. Like, is this going to be that good? Ah, <sighs> Damn. You got this dude, Great Tusk EX. So this is a Don Fan variant. So it does 40 for 1 and you discard any any stadium in play. So is this... Man, is this a fucking... Is this a stage 1 or is it a basic Pokemon? It doesn't say it evolves from something. It seems a bit weird to me. Is there some sort of error here? I don't get it. Um, maybe it's a basic X. I don't have a clue at this point. Um, seems pretty strong, but I mean, as we've always said, Power Creep is, is real. They're not even trying to hide it at this point. If you're at 250 HP basic X Pokemon, that's pretty much like a 30... 30 HP jump on average, I guess, from V's. Um, and then the Giganto Tusk attack, uh, it's 250 for 3, and you do 50 damage to yourself, but this is still an extremely strong attack, easy to use. You're going to get one hit knockouts for sure. You, you can't really complain. So, strong fighting Pokemon. I mean, I guess. It's going to be something for Claydol to use. Uh, I think that makes sense. 
Okay, I guess that's going to be this guy. This guy has this, this plus at least. And we got Koridon EX. I'm glad they confirmed that these guys are just fu futuristic Pokemon and not legendary Pokemon. It makes them it makes them less lame, okay? Because bicycle legendary Pokemon that are bicycles is just lame as fuck for me. And I'm glad at least that we get this shit. <sighs> a little bit of a soul ass. Anyway, so... I remember this guy having some broken shit, and the other dude as well. So let's let's see what he does. Uh, a basic EX Pokemon, 230 HP. This is a bit weaker than Don Fan, but you got the Dino Cry. Once during your turn, you may attach up to two basic Fighting Energy cards from your Discapa to one of your basic Fighting Pokemon any way you like. And if you use this ability, your turn ends. So it's very similar to. I guess it's going to be the new Zacian. It's the use this broken ability your turn ends shit so this is energy acceleration I guess this is obvious obviously meant to work with the Don fan here this sort of combo uh, but there's a bunch of Pokemon that are gonna definitely benefit from this um, quite sure uh, you have a lot of incentive to play first uh, if you're gonna use this Pokemon in your deck a very consistent engine get this get this guy out discard fighting energies use this guy's effect and then you get basically a very solid energy acceleration two two extra energies for free at the start of the game so this is quite good I mean it, just like Zacian it's not something that you're gonna be able to use forever because if you use this it means you can't attack it's a passive effect at the end of the day but I guess even if it can't be a full-fledged engine, it's definitely a major plus you can you can benefit. I mean, kind of like how the, what I think Leafeon and uh, Sylveon V they've got the effect where you can grab a card and then your turn ends. So something that's a big benefit on your first turn at the very least, if anything else. And the Wild Impact attack, this Pokemon can attack. So just like Zacian. And then you do 24, 3. So slightly weaker than Zacian. But you don't need 3 fightings. You need 2. So I still think this is going to be a good Pokemon. Maybe. Is it going to be on the level of Zacian V? I don't know. I guess we need to see more cards. I mean, it's definitely. The combo is obvious between this and Great Tusk EX Donphan here. It looks so menacing, but cool. Um, the combo is obvious, but, you know, it's not something that you can do all day. Uh, Zacian got its energy acceleration from Metal Saucer. You just use the draw, draw attack for consistency at the start of the game. So, I guess we'll see. Maybe they're going to give us a, a fight patch or whatever, too. So, Mr. Filler, Grimer, and then Dark Mock. This looks weird, but that's poison type of dark now. Uh, poison sack. As long as this Pokemon is in the active spot, your opponent's poison Pokemon can't recover from poison even even if they evolve. Uh, yeah, it has to be active too. Yeah, good luck making this work. It has a big ass attack. A hundred for four with poison. An absolute joke. Joke of an attack. They've got a lot of balls to come up with such shitty cards in this day and age. This this Pokemon would have only been strong with all this shit if it was in the Diamond and Pearl era. Not even the Black and White era. You put this card in the Black and White era, it's still fucking useless. So just imagine how useless it is now. Incredible, man. Absolutely incredible. A hundred for four. Are you fucking kidding me? <sighs> fucking hell. You got Surviper. Does 120 damage if your opponent's active Pokemon is poisoned. Even this is stronger. So 180 for 3, 
against the poison Pokemon. At least with this, you can use like a laser. <laughs> and then this guy is going to get a 180 attack off before it dies at least. And then the first attack, auto poison. Okay, to synergize. I mean, this Pokemon probably isn't going to do anything, but better than Mach, that's for sure. Uh, more filler, and then a Toxicroak EX. So this is a stage one with 250 HP. So, okay. So I don't know. Uh, it, it definitely uh, Great Tusk didn't have a, a fancy over here. So I guess it is a basic. Uh, you got nasty plot on this guy. Search your deck for up to two cards and put them into your hand. Okay, good opening attack. And then Toxic Rip. It points out to Pokemon is now poisoned. Put six damage counters on that Pokemon instead of one turning Pokemon checkup. So this is this is strong because it's 120 for three, but it's also poison with uh, six damage as opposed to the usual one. So that's 180. And if they leave it, the Pokemon there, uh, you're at 240. Yeah, that, that sounds about right, which is strong. Um, this is a good poison attacker. You combine it with a few other poison support cards, and it's it's good. I think this is going to be better than Toxicity VMAX, which didn't end up being that good, unfortunately, because this, I mean... This is DC compatible for one. I don't believe um, Toxtricity VMAX was. Much easier condition to meet. And I mean, I guess Toxtricity did have a lot of lightning support. This guy's dark. It's going to have a lot of support too. Like Dark Patch. So, yeah. Good card, I guess. We'll see. Uh, Mr. Filler and uh, Bisharp. I knew I was going to hate this card when I saw it. 120 for 2 and then 30 damage to yourself. I'm not even going to yell because I'm already tired. Uh, I'm out of energy. <sighs> Get a sip of water, I guess. Pardon me, I guess you guys get a little bit of ASMR too. So, I guess they made him useless because he evolves into this guy. Okay, so this is a new evolution for Bisharp. 170 HP, that's still weak. And you got a leadership. Damage from your basic Pokemon's attacks deal 30 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon. So it's not going to work with his own ass. And uh, it's going to be support for... <laughs> Basic EXs, that's it. And uh, the cleave attack is a useless 160 for 3. Okay. Um, I don't know what this guy is supposed to be, but uh, it does poison gas. Man, is this supposed to be a metal po Yeah, it's a metal Pokemon. This border almost seems like it's like a white, gray, whatever. Uh, a cat meowing outside too. Okay, so this is, I think this is the same, yeah. And the stage one, 140 HP. And once turn turn, you may discard an energy card from your hand if you do draw cards until you have six cards. Wow, so I'm kind of pleased to see this because, in a way, it almost seems like the clay doll from DP is coming back so you may discard one energy card from your hand so you can't discard anything and if you do oh, okay so yeah it's not just optional so I thought because they say you may because it's an energy then maybe you can still draw until you have six if you don't want to use the Vic but you kinda you have to use it, the discard so you must discard an energy if you want to draw into F6. Now, this is a lot more specific than Claylaw, 
and it's not going to be as strong as clay at all. Um, uh, I'll say that it might even be weaker than something like Bit Barrel because Bit Barrel, you don't have the condition. Obviously, you got to drill until you have five, but I don't know. I guess if your deck is, you know, you always have energies laying in your hand depending on what you're running and how you build your deck, then this, of course, is going to be stronger than Bit Barrel. But if you're not, I mean, if you're not running a lot of energies, if you don't want to discard energies, then maybe this isn't as good. I just wish they didn't make it so specific. Um, or at least if you have to discard an energy, it's drawn to have seven. I mean, w would that really hurt? I guess maybe that would have been a little bit broken. Uh, but... I don't know. I, I guess maybe it's the right balance. Uh, some decks will use this. Uh, the attack is some filler shit. Uh, so, whatever. 140 HP. So a new support Pokemon to keep in mind. You got Zangoose. Slash and Claw 80 and then uh, drag off. Uh, yeah, bullshit. A shame. You got a Starly line. Look at how cute this is. I think this is a... Uh, Clay artwork. Very nice. Of course, they're going to be filler though. This is Staravia too. Very cool. Nice background there. It's a damn shame these cards suck. Staraptor, I know it's going to be useless too. I just know it. Another Staraptor card with 150 HP and not even free fucking retreat. So you do spin away during your opponent's next turn. This Pokemon won't receive damage from your opponent's basic Pokemon's attacks. Okay, so I guess you've got this sort of a wall attack. And then the Power Blast, 180 for 3, and then discard energy from this Pokemon. I mean, it's a stage 2 though. And if I'm going to use this with triple acceleration energy to get the free 180, uh, Ursa Luna does 200. I guess if you use this over Ursa Luna then uh, eventually when you use DCs and uh, power this guy up without triple acceleration then maybe you, you have energies to spare but it doesn't matter because it's gonna die in one shot it has less HP than Ursaluna too Ursaluna had 180 and he was dying when I was using him so this guy he ain't doing shit I mean you've got the wall attack but Ursaluna has a better Second attack, more damage, better better abuse of the triple acceleration since you're going to die in one shot anyway. You know, fighting resistance doesn't mean shit. You have got one retreat, okay, great. I guess you've got the first attack to wall, but my guess is, you know, EX Pokemon, it's, it's going to be... Stage 1's evolution Pokemon are going to be seeing play too. It's not going to be just basics. So, I guess it's better than other Staraptor cards that are god-awful. But, why they can couldn't give this card at least 180 HP with Free Retreat? Some bullshit like that. And maybe do more damage with the first attack. Like you do 90 for 2 at least... Little Piggy is also filler. Almost looks kind of sad in this one, but I guess no. It's just his uh, expression. And uh, this is the Oin Cologne. Uh, kind of a shitty name. I guess it's the Cologne with the Oink. Uh, the, yeah, kind of lame. And it's 260 stage 1 Frenzy Fragrance. Does 30 damage for each of your opponent's benched Pokemon. So if they got 5, they're at 160 for 1. Okay, that's respectable. Your component can play around this, but it's a 1 energy attack. And then the Heavy Stamp, 210 for 3. If you get Tails, this card can attack. Uh, that doesn't matter. Uh, very flexible, though. It's just a colorless Pokemon. It needs all colorless to attack. So, I mean... 
it, it's fine. Seems like a nice card. Once again, maybe you want to pair with uh, Lugia V Star. Who knows? Um, uh, fucking double V is better, but I guess this guy can be faster. I guess if you if you can't utilize Lugia, this guy can attack with one energy. Uh, stage one, but it's it's gonna be more of a tank than even double and then the other attack it's gonna start okay so yeah scratch what I said this guy's more consistent than double V uh, which is good I guess I mean double V is gonna be when your opponent is you can do over 210 then double V is definitely stronger but it has to be mid to late game. Like you need to get your opponent needs to get at least I think how many fucking prizes we're talking? Um three prizes for you to do two ten or four actually. Oh god, it it just escapes me right now. But they gotta get a lot of prizes. This guy does a more consistent two ten. Yeah, just a better package, but of course it is gonna be a stage one though. And then we're finally down to the trainers. Okay, I'm done with this. Finished quicker than I thought, even though I was rambling so much. So Palpad is getting a reprint coming back. Nest Ball is coming back. Very pleased about this. Uh, you got the Rock Breastplate, like a Castlevania armor. And the fighting Pokemon this card is attached to receive third less damage from attacks. Of course, they're going to make the fighting dudes here broken. EXP sure coming back and the competitive band. If you have more prize cards remaining than your opponent, attacks from your active Pokemon deal 30 more damage. Wow. So this is um, a stronger muscle band that you got to be losing to rip the benefit. So I think an expanded muscle band is still going to be stronger. But in standard, this is probably going to see some good fucking play. If you're losing... You gain this big benefit. Uh, reminds me of another card that I think did similar shit that I don't remember right now. Uh, fuck. I think it was in the Sun and Moon era that came out. <sighs> anyway. Um, point is, this is something. I guess maybe it's something that Stage 2 decks can utilize because we're going to be dying by the time we set up to attack. Uh, yeah, I guess. But, I mean, you just might as well use the choice belt. Unless they're not going to give us uh, think, something to hit the X's. So you got this Jack. Jack. Yeah, definitely it looks like a jackass. Search your deck for up to two evolution Pokemon and put them into your hand. So a good evolution searching effect for a supporter. A stronger than Elm that... You can only get one, I guess, to keep up with the times. This is a bit better. I mean, that's it. I mean, it's it's good. No other limitation. You can get anything. A way to get EXs as well. You got the Team Star Grunts. Uh, what the fuck kind of outfit is that? Tie with these orange shorts. I don't know what the fuck. Um... Choose an energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon and put it on top of their deck. <sighs> this is a very nasty effect. At first glance, this looks like it's um, weaker than something like Team Flare Grunt because you don't discard your opponent that gets the card back, which in a way it is kind of good. Uh, but stacking a card on top of your, your opponent's deck... If you guys are experienced with old school Yu-Gi-Oh, you know what uh, Perfect Circle Monarchs were and other tactics that would do this. You, even Duel Masters, uh, is that Cyberlord card that I forgot, a water card. You, stacking cards on your opponent's deck essentially means they you made them skip their draw phase. They're drawing the same card and drawing an energy too, which probably isn't going to be that useful. So, I don't know, maybe this isn't as broken as I think it is, because usually what energy discord effects want to do is prevent your opponent from attacking and getting you stuck, essentially. 
But if they're going to be giving you this energy to attack, it means that Pokemon that do attack with just one energy can't really utilize this card, uh, aren't going to be affected by this card. So maybe this is good, but do keep in mind that um, stacking cards in your opponent's deck is strong. Prevent them from drawing. All right. And then we got the Professor Research Bitch new artwork. This is the one, uh, one of the professors from the new era. And Penny. Uh, what the fuck is up with these dude? Yeah, they're, they're trying to. Uh, yeah, a pretty lame haircut. What's with the blue and red? I don't know what the fuck. I guess they're trying to be hip with this shit they're doing. I don't know. So return one of your basic Pokemon and play and all cards attached it to your hand. So it has to be basic. But this is pretty much a, a scoop up. Auto scoop up. Like a Cerola and shit. With a slightly different condition. It's going to see play but obviously you won't be able to utilize this if you use an evolution root box Pokemon. But you do get all the cards attached too. So that's that's the broken shit. It's a straight up scoop up at this point. And you got the Beach Court. Retreat cost for each basic Pokemon play is one card is less. So this is basically uh, Sky Arrow Bridge. Yeah. So this returning, Sky Arrow Bridge returning in the standard in a way with this effect. Can be very useful for sure. Bet it's going to see play. And then, uh, what the fuck is this doing here? I guess this is art alternate artwork cards. It did look like the same though. No, it's different. So that's it. This is the different artwork cards. Um, and this is the Scarlet EX set. So, I mean, it was just 80 cards. It's not that, um, it's not that groundbreaking. I mean, you get the few good cards that you expect. Um, all of the regular Pokemon were fucking useless. I mean, they've been, um, even in like uh, the Sword and Shield sets, they were useless, but at least you, you got some hope, even if it was vain, with things like uh, the Stage 2 Machamp from Astral Radiance or Lost Origin, whatever the fuck. They, they did give us some shit that could have been given us hope. This, you don't even get hope. I know that pretty much almost everything is useless. Uh, you got this dude that's going to move energies around. And uh, this this card, this grass shit that's going to be used to support the V-Stars. But when it comes to regular Pokemon as their own attackers, absolutely nothing stands out. Yeah, pretty much nothing. Uh... It's just the EXs that are kind of good. And surprisingly, Gardevoir might be the weakest EX from here. Which is crazy to think about. But, yeah. Uh, both Toxicroak, I think, is a lot easier to use. And it's, it's going to be a stage one, too. Okay, so yeah, Gardevoir has more HP, though. And... You also, the fighting dudes, of course, they're the main shit. Uh, the little pig is nice, too. Gardevoir is going to be weak to fucking darkness, too. Yeah, so, RIP from now. And that's it. I mean, trainer cards, we didn't really get anything. We just got this uh, lame dude letting you grab evolution Pokemon. Uh, I guess the team star grunts as well. And... Uh, Penny. Okay, so scratch what I said. We, we did get some key supporter cards. Uh, item cards. Okay. Mostly reprints that are good. The Nest Ball, Paw Pad. Okay, I mean, I guess it's one half of the Scarlet Violet set. We're going to review the Violet set too. So, unsurprisingly, I'm disappointed. The regular Pokemon are still ass. Get some new new cards, I guess, that can be meta. Decent reprints, some decent trainers. And that's the part one, I guess, for the Japanese set. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this set review. 
Uh, subscribe to the channel. Leave a like. Share this video with your friends. And I'll see you guys next time. What I?